Have you ever woken up at night, heart pounding, hands clinging, as if death was just around the corner? Imagine if you could minimize your anxiety and panic attacks by applying self-hypnosis, thereby enhancing your mental health. What I have to share is not just another quick fix. Using this tested approach, thousands of people have recovered their lives from stress and anxiety. Once anxiety strikes, how many times have you tried to just relax or think positive? How effectively did that work for you? If you're like most people, probably not very well. This is because many well-intentioned but ineffective tactics overlook the core of the issue. Unbelievably, over 40 million Americans suffer from anxiety disorders. That comes to almost 20% of the population. Only 36% of those affected, though, receive treatment. Why is that? Many people lack awareness of the actual changes anxiety creates in their bodies and brains. Are you ready to learn a new approach combining modern neuroscience with age-old knowledge? One that actually rewires your brain for confidence and peace rather than merely covers your symptoms? Let's discover the incredible world of self hypnosis for anxiety relief. Let's first understand what actually happens when anxiety strikes. Imagine you're driving and another car nearly hits you. Your body alerts itself at that instant. Your heart races, your palms get sweaty, and adrenaline floods through you. Your fight or flight reaction is kicking in. This is natural in response to a real threat. The problem is that with anxiety, your body responds like there's danger, even when there isn't. Your heart pounds when you wake up at night, but there's no car about to hit you. Your body is in panic mode. Your mind cannot understand why and starts to panic about the panic. Sometimes this cycle can seem endless. Anxiety essentially sets off our fight or flight reaction, even in the absence of actual danger. This creates a confusing and distressing cycle for our body and mind. Here is where self-hypnosis comes in. It's about learning to communicate directly with your subconscious mind, which controls these reflexive responses. Let's start with a basic method you can use right now. Try this the next time your anxiety first starts. Stand up immediately. Don't lie in bed trying to cool off. Physical movement signals to your body that you are taking action away from the perceived threat. Establish an anchor. Imagine a place or situation where you feel happy, grounded, and centered. Maybe you're strolling on a peaceful beach or playing with your children. See this picture in your mind in vivid detail. Count down from five to one backward. As you do, say aloud, I'm so excited. Keep doing this, tying it back to your positive image. This sounds strange. You're anxious after all, not excited. The secret, though, is that anxiety and excitement feel exactly the same physically. Basically, relabeling these emotions as excitement and giving your mind a positive context helps you control your body's stress response. Self-hypnosis helps us communicate with our subconscious. By redefining physical sensations as exhilaration, the stand-up and anchor technique breaks anxiety patterns. Now let's turn to a powerful self-hypnosis method known as the emotion code. This approach is based on the idea that unprocessed emotions from our past can create energy blocks in our body, causing emotional and physical discomfort. Let's try it together. Close your eyes and focus on one specific stress or worry you are carrying. Rate its intensity between zero and 10. Now imagine this emotion as a colored ball of energy within your body. Where is it? What color is it? Then, focusing on this emotional energy, lightly tap the top of your head with your fingertips. See the color change, becoming lighter and lighter until it vanishes completely 
as you tap. Breathe deeply and then rate your level of anxiety. You'll probably find it has dropped significantly. This method releases trapped emotions and removes the energy blocks causing stress and anxiety. Regular practice builds emotional resilience and helps you significantly lower your overall anxiety. The motion code helps you visualize and release trapped emotions, lowering anxiety and strengthening emotional resilience. Another very effective self-hypnosis technique is neuro-linguistic programming or NLP. One NLP technique especially useful for anxiety is called reframing. Let's work through it together. Imagine a scenario that typically causes you anxiety. Now imagine seeing this unfold on a movie screen. Watch yourself calmly and confidently handling the situation. Notice the details, your relaxed facial expression, calm posture, steady breathing. Now, step into this scene. Experience what it feels like to be that calm, confident version of yourself. Notice how different your body feels and how clear-headed you are. Right now, this is your reality. Seeing yourself effortlessly handling difficult situations repeatedly helps your subconscious mind adopt this new behavior. You'll find yourself gradually responding to stress more calmly and confidently automatically. The reframing technique of NLP trains your subconscious to respond calmly under stressful situations through visualization. Now let's explore the emotional freedom technique, sometimes called tapping. Combining modern psychology with aspects of ancient Chinese acupressure, EFT provides quick relief from anxiety and stress. Let's try a simplified version right now. Say, even though I feel anxious right now, I deeply and completely accept myself while gently tapping the side of your hand with your fingertips. Repeat this three times, then spending about five to 10 seconds on each, tap through these points on your body. One, top of the head, two, eyebrow, three, side of the eye, four, under the eye, five, under the nose, six, chin, seven, collarbone, and eight, under the arm. While you tap each spot, focus on your anxiety and keep repeating this anxiety. After one round, take a deep breath and rate your level of anxiety. Keep going until your anxiety noticeably decreases. While focusing on the emotional issue, EFT stimulates acupressure points that help balance your body's energy system. This combination of physical activity by tapping acupressure points and mental focus on emotion helps quickly reduce anxiety and stress. As supplementary techniques to self-hypnosis, let's explore some mindfulness and grounding techniques for quick anxiety relief. One, the 54321 technique. List five things you can see, four things you can touch, three things you can hear, two things you can smell, and one thing you can taste. This brings you into the present moment. Two, box breathing. Breathe in for four counts, hold for four counts, breathe out for four counts, hold for four counts. Repeat this cycle for a few minutes to relax your nervous system. Three, body scan. Starting with your toes, gradually focus on each part of your body, noticing any sensations without judgment. This increases body awareness and relaxation. These exercises can be combined with self-hypnosis techniques to quickly reduce anxiety. For quick anxiety relief, mindfulness and grounding techniques such as the 54321 technique, box breathing and body scans complement self-hypnosis. Importance of perseverance and consistency. Remember, self-hypnosis is a skill like any other. The more you practice these techniques, the more effective they become. It's like building a muscle. It gets stronger the more you work it. Commit to practicing these techniques daily for the next 30 days. Track your progress in a journal. 
Notice how your anxiety shifts, how your sleep improves, and how you feel more in control emotionally. Though progress may be gradual, consistent practice leads to improvement. Some days will be easier than others. That's normal. The key is to maintain regular practice and be patient with yourself. Success with self-hypnosis relies heavily on consistency and patience. Regular practice allows you to gradually but noticeably control stress and anxiety. You can start to see your relationship with anxiety and stress differently. These self-hypnosis techniques provide the tools for your success. Your secret weapons in the battle against anxiety are always available, completely free and incredibly powerful. Remember, you are not your fears. You are not the cause of your stress. These are just experiences you are going through, not your identity. And the tools we discuss today will help you change these experiences. While the path to better mental health isn't always easy, it is certainly worth it. Your relationship with anxiety and stress is one you can change. These self-hypnosis techniques offer the means to do it. Keep practicing, be patient with yourself, and watch as your mental health becomes calmer, more confident, and under control. You can do this. If you found this material helpful, please like and subscribe for more mental health tips and techniques.